Boom, bada, bing. Yes, sir. Xeno staff acquired. Yoink. Attack him. Hit him. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to Terraria 1.4 Massimo Summoner something something. We're here. The Martian are invading i'm ready for them hold up let me get to like a good area i can sit in and uh the obvious goal here is to get our hands on the beautiful ufo summon so i'm gonna go sit in my little box and just hope that oh there's things in my little box okay how you doing please leave don't kill me though okay so i don't know how we're gonna do this we're just gonna sit here and chill that's really it oh we got a brain scrambler already wow all right, we got our first UFO. Doesn't this dude shoot through walls or something now? I don't know, something like that. Uh, boys, let's let's get the UFO. Oh God, eee, it does shoot through walls. Okay, it's all good. We got the rotted Discord for a reason. Let's hope that most of my guys are attacking it. Okay, they're not really. It's all good. Okay, we're gonna die. That's not good. Hold up. Let's just do this. I got a strategy. Okay, here's the strategy. We're just gonna run. <laughs> Simple strategy, I know, but it's a very effective one at that. Hey, attack them. Come on. Get attacking. I can't start running if you guys don't start attacking. Okay, well, that was a good start. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the uh, the strat is to fight this thing anymore. The UFO, that is. I'm saying it like I'm fighting one. Only one has spawned this whole time, which is uh, very, very nice. But I don't know the strat anymore since they <clears throat> obviously buffed it or made it so that it shoots through walls. So we gotta figure out something. I don't know what that something is gonna be. We gotta figure out a new strat. Maybe just have an arena. Oh, oh, time out, time out, time out. All right, boys, you know what to do. You know what to do. Do I know what to do? I don't know. You guys know what to do. Just attack the thing, okay? That's all you gotta do. It's very simple. Uh, yeah, having an arena would be very, very nice right now. Let me see if I can like somehow lure this, lure this thing into an arena that I have set up somewhere. I don't know. That might be kind of hard because uh, this thing is is a little dangerous. There's also all these other enemies everywhere, which doesn't make this any easier. And there's also the phase two of the UFO itself. So we'll see what we can do here. Maybe we could just like finesse around in the air and just do that the whole time. Honestly, it doesn't seem too bad to do that. It's just, I'm, I'm worried about this right here, the rocket phase. Damn, that can hit you really quickly for a lot of damage. Oh, we're probably dead. But yeah, I think having a better arena set up for this, oh, I'm dead. Having a better arena set up for this is the way to go from now on for doing the Martian event. But I mean, it's not even that bad that we're losing this. It's the Martian invasion. We can always get it to spawn in like a couple seconds. But if we do go back over here on the floor, I don't know if I was mousing over it, but the uh, anti grav hook was on the floor right here. So shout out to that. Oh, and the blaster cannon. Didn't they like change this or something? I don't know. All right. So here I am. I made a somewhat uh, an arena. It's not really an arena. It's just a lot of platforms at the right side of the ocean. Probably don't jump into that. And uh, let's see if we could uh, beat the boss here. Beat the Martian, the UFO, whatever the fuck. Uh, that's the goal. It's honestly not that hard. If you got room. It's like all bosses in Terry. You got room. You got a decent arena. You should be able to do some damage. But let's see if this is considered a decent arena here. I'm trying to just let my summons do work but they're they're not doing too great come on right there finish that off finish that off let's get into phase two boys phase two uh-huh uh-huh yep i know the dodge pattern for this at least this i know the dodge pattern for because i've done this before but you know most of the time i just send a box to farm it because it's easy but this specifically i've done this i've done this in the past so we're doing it right now i don't know what those flares it's shooting is is that new has it always shot the little flares because one of those flares hit me you see that flares sparks wherever the fuck those are those are hitting me so let's be careful here i'm hoping i get the ufo summon in like one try because i don't want to do this again <laughs> We probably are going to have to because we're only at 38%. This will probably only give me like 5%. But uh, these summons are taking a sweet time. Come on. Get in there, boys. Let me see some damage. Y'all need me to whip or something? There you go. Landed a little nice whip for them. I'll do it again. Okay. A little off there. Okay. A little off there. Okay. Oh, and I just got one taps. I, I don't know where I messed up the pattern. All right. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> all right so i'm here it's been a good couple of days since the last clip i recorded but i went ahead got my hands on some more defender medals playing on the lower level things it's pretty easy to do tier two but i still feel like tier one is a little bit smoother in terms of it's a guaranteed dub so i've been farming some tier ones 
on that other world our farm tier one's on and we got our little arena here and i'll get back to the defender medals in a second we got our arena here for the it's kind of hard to get in here why, why didn't i think of this right, we, we can just get in like that but uh we got our arena here and we're gonna move back and forth in here laser comes near us boom other side unless it does something crazy it probably will do something crazy and they'll probably still hit me uh the drones probably will still hit me we're just hoping we don't get hit by stuff most of the time i don't know if we do get hit by something that's a good like 150 but the goal here with the defender medals is to get my hands on some armor here and a new staff and we just do the martian madness event like that we're gonna have higher defense and we're gonna have guaranteed sentries that attack the ufo because i've noticed something with summons that they sometimes just de-aggro because the ufo can get a little far and that just makes it so i'm sitting there dodging for no reason so let's let's try and change this up here just want to put this in here i keep forgetting as a summoner that if i'm holding the rotted discord and not a whip or a summoning staff that my targeting on a certain mob or boss won't persist and my minions won't attack them that often keep forgetting that's a thing i do it throughout this whole episode my bad just keep that in mind i don't know if i should get the flame burst one flame burst oh god what order this is for the ballista this one's for the flame burst the dark artist yeah i don't know if i should get the flame burst one or if i should just get the ballista one they're both very good flame burst is really good it's just a lot of grinding whatever i think the flame burst is the way to go honestly i think the flame burst has better aoe uh, especially for the ufo but i don't know it's a hard choice bro it's a hard choice honestly this is a lot of grinding i gotta do if i want to revert this choice let's do flame burst we're gonna do flame burst okay we're gonna do a flame burst honestly might even be better for once we start doing the actual old ones army which i plan to do this episode but let's do it can't revert this decision once i do it you hate to see it oh i don't have enough okay i need to do like one more event it's all good it's all good we said flame burst right okay okay i need a little more right 75 okay i'll be right back i gotta go back to the other world all right let's get this thing started i don't know if this helps out spawning having these lizard temple blocks up here whatever i feel like they do maybe they don't but let's just sit up here we wait for ufo and then hopefully we actually do some good in this event boom there's one right here let's go nice and easy okay let's get back home okay watch watch out for that guy let's get back home we're gonna do this nice and simple nice and simple everything hurts in this event so uh let's let's try and get in here real quick okay boom put on this armor set oh calm down okay uh take this out maybe i can keep two different whips out or not whips have two different of these things out and then put this on it's a little loud it's a little loud if you can't tell put this on i guess what is it? this gives me damage just give me damage okay here switch these out then. all right and then for my summon i'm gonna use the cat okay the cat seems like a go-to and now let's just place a bunch of stuff here so how many centuries do i get holy shit why are these things so loud <laughs> uh oh don't hit me don't hit me okay we're good one two three four and i, I should get one more right five yeah there we go nice looking good all right so now i just sit here and wait for the martian for the ufo so hopefully i actually succeed this time because i'm be i'm gonna be honest you've seen me do two on camera i did a third one and it was terrible so this is the fourth martian madness event let's hope i do good this time here we go first ufo time all right let's focus on it are they focusing on it something i can never honestly tell are you guys fo okay see we gotta work on my dodging i don't know i, I feel like i couldn't really dodge that there i was trying to focus on right clicking it's really hard to tell if you're right clicking on this ufo or not he's going all the way over there to shoot lasers i'm pretty sure we have him focused on it let me get the right number of uh flame bursts here oh here we go yes sir and i'm on the other side see you later so we just gotta we just gotta have good pacing i don't know <laughs> good reaction time something like that it's working out pretty well though these teleporters are helping out a lot um in my third attempt that we will never receive because it was such bad vibes i was having such a bad time doing the event and we'll never see it because i don't want to i don't want to post footage like that i was just trying to use the rod of discord and the hook of dissonance it just wasn't working bro it really wasn't working oh okay be careful we're fucking up right now just keep on switching sides okay you know i probably don't even need to use the teleporters it's our it's our first try what just happened i feel like i'm teleport what just happened <laughs> oh there was mm, that's kind of annoying okay well there's our first l uh there was a piece of scrap from the ufo inside of there with me you know the little sparks it, it drops 
apparently it's called scraps looks like sparks to me it hit me that's good to know Tele teleport inside there you go all right let's try this again all right here we go again make sure they're focused on it i think they're focused on it honestly can't tell finish it off boom got the got the focus on it i'm on the other side see you later i'm on the other side see you later I'm on the other side. See you later. Am I going to say that every time? Nope. I'm teleporting freely. Okay. Okay. Well, Jesus Christ. I think it, it might be a mental thing at this at this rate. I'm just mentally, mentally being blocked by something. Or I just suck. One or the other. You know, I wish that terraria bosses when they drop their trophies they should drop that they should drop it after like 50 kills and then it works like a banner i don't know just an idea there because i feel like it'd be nice to have a little extra defense against certain bosses if you say fight them 50 times sounds like a lot of work but it could work it could work just like a banner or they can just get a banner too okay i figured out a big problem why i always take damage during this dodging part in the second phase is because i double tp on accident sometimes and I just took a big hit a second ago because I just did it again. And uh, it's if I teleport after teleporting and I just get caught right when the laser shoots. It's really annoying. But if I get the timing perfect like this, you know, it cuts it close every now and then. But it just works. I don't have to try too hard. It also helped that I wasn't talking most of the time. Because uh, commentating and focusing on doing this was fucking me up. But it's all good. Boom, bada, bing. Drop the thing. Okay, I guess not. It's all good. But there you go. It's doable. It's doable. I actually did it once. It caused my brain to malfunction a couple times. It caused me to not record this episode, but it's doable. And we just did it right there. So now I just got to do it until I get the item I'm looking for. Oh my God. Look at my boy right here. Do a kickflip. Do something. Does he do anything? Maybe I have to be in the air. Let's see. Do something crazy. He ain't doing too much. Boom, bada, bing. Yes, sir. Xeno staff acquired. Thank God. Oh one of them got in here i made the box bigger but there you go we got the xeno staff and i also noticed the anti-grav hook is over here sweet give it a second all right we got another one i mean might as well kill him at this point i don't see no reason not to we got what i need and the progress probably will go faster if i just kill it so let's just kill it i'm gonna try out a different strat here you know see if this is better or not uh just all hydras do i have it targeted i have to have it targeted right yeah okay so let's see if it's faster with all hydras same thing with all ballistas, but I don't have the tier 3 ballista, and I don't really know how I feel like farming. What is it, 100 something now to buy a staff? That's only like 5 tier 2 of invasions. <laughs> no problem, right? It does feel a lot faster so far. I think it's just because the flame burst is a little slow, but the flame burst still is a pretty, pretty hard hitter for how slow it is. And obviously, the AoE attack is what makes the flame burst as good as it is but now that we have this complete done i can finally make some progress here and uh i think it's either we're doing the old one's army next or we're doing duke fish run. probably the old one's army that's probably the way to go oh shit the event's still not over so as always people were hyping the hell out of the xeno staff in the ufo summons so these things better be good now we have that a lot throughout this series where people will be hyping up one thing and then it just turns out to be as expected average but let's let's see it in action i don't know what we're gonna test it on where am i gonna test it on i guess the old one's army see i don't know if i should do the old one's army now or if i should like wait for something else i, I have no idea but uh i guess let's reforge this obviously i want was it ruthless is that the best reforge something like that but i'll get whatever i can get my hands on how much gold do i have i still got a lot of gold superior that's okay so what was that 12 percent from superior give me higher than 12 percent and i'll take it i can't believe there's reforges that can give you minus 30 percent but there's no refor oh there we go ruthless perfect but there's no reforges that can give you plus 30 i'm just saying if you can give minus you can give plus come on now but uh i, I really don't know what i should do should i go fight fish run or should i do old one's army i really don't know i think i should farm old one's army to get enough to buy a couple more of the uh tier three rods or staves or whatever the hell they're called now what are they called staffs i think they're called staffs now um and then well i'm also at it well i guess i can't do both at once all right you know i'll just farm tier two old ones army i can't even do that on my world i have to go to another world which means i have to kill a mech boss on another world okay i don't know i'll figure out something so this is what we're gonna do since i don't think i can take on tier three old ones army we're gonna buy some uh dark blue solution here and uh we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and mix up the jungle a bit this is kind of expensive i should be careful we're gonna we're gonna turn a little bit of the jungle into uh a mushroom bind just so it's easier to find the uh, truffle so let's go do that Alrighty, we got us our nice little mushroom fied is that a 
that's obviously not a word. We got our mushroom biome, a lot larger than usual. Uh, I don't even remember the last time I did this, probably because I haven't done like an actual playthrough in a minute, but I think I should probably get my life form analyzer. I don't know where I put that. It should just be in my accessories chest. But yeah, we get the life form analyzer. We get the invis potions, which I do have. And then we just look around for a truffle. As simple as that. Okay, there's a truffle worm somewhere. Is that it right there? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Boom. And boom. Is that not how things work? Okay, it's all good. There's another one over here. I thought I was invisible. Pull up on him. Got him. Okay, that was really easy. They're actually spawning a lot more than I thought already. I just got back. And uh, I don't know why that one run ran away. Maybe because I missed the initial catch. I'm again, I'm assuming. So it just hit me that like I don't really need to do the old ones army at all until like way later. Like maybe even do it after I get the Terra Prisma if I get the Terra Prisma. Because you no, know, there's nothing that it drops specifically for us anymore. Everything that we could access for summoner slash sentry stuff we could just get from the tavern keep right now. Well, we still have to farm it, but you know what I mean. We don't have to do much. We don't have to do it anymore. So I'm not worried about it. So let's let's set up for the duke. Hopefully the duke isn't too bad. I've noticed that when I whip with the dark harvest, you know, I whip something. These UFOs, they go hard. Like, I don't know if maybe it was just a placebo effect that I'm believing that they're as good as people are saying. And I whip something and they just did a lot of damage. I don't know. Maybe I should test it out on uh, on this. Maybe I should test it out. Let's test it out. Let's go ahead. Let's test out this UFO stuff. I'm not going to buff or anything. I don't want to waste any buffs because I might be running low on certain buffs. Let's see it in action here all i need to do is be underground and uh we should be good all right underground jungle oh please is probably considering that yeah whatever just, just fight them just fight them there you go I'll whip them look at that look at that you hear that noise that's a beautiful noise that is a beautiful noise if i do say so myself might be a little loud hopefully it isn't too loud but listen to that baby purr okay it's not really a purring noise but it still sounds beautiful. Doesn't sound as beautiful anymore. It's not not too many things for it to bounce off of. But it's still amazing. It's still amazing. And the fight's actually going real fast. Like, I'm starting to believe that these things are really the hype people were talking about. Y'all might have been right for once. Y'all might have been right for once. But look at that. We got our hands on that golem. Do I finally have a light pet? Oh my god. This is honestly another one of my favorite master mode pets. I really like the master mode pets. I wish all of them had a guaranteed master mode pet. Um, But look at this thing. It's amazing. It's a light pet too, so it makes it actually useful. What's in the treasure bag though? Probably nothing we need. Alright, I'll be honest. I haven't fought the duke in a minute. At least I haven't fought master mode duke. I mean, obviously. But let's see how this goes here. I'm very interested to see how this goes. How many do we have? I have no idea. I didn't switch out any accessories. I will try my best to switch this out mid fight when I heal. But let's just see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Let me drop down here. I got a, a platform to run on because we know the Duke is fast. And uh, let's go ahead. Let's fish him up. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm ready. Not really. Not ready at all. All right. Let's do it. Did I already get hit? Apparently, I already took damage. That's, that's a good sign. Um, But let's get it. The music. Where's the music at? What kind of music is this? This is the, this is the Duke Fish on music. I'm very interested to see to hear what this what this sounds like. Doesn't sound like much so far. Oh god. Oh god. Don't get hit that many times. I really don't know how to fight the Duke. Let's let's figure it out though. I was looking up. Whoa! What the hell? I was looking up guides. They didn't really tell me much. It's really hard to look up guides. I mean, I guess I didn't look up summoner guide, but. Usually there never is a summoner guide. There either is a summoner guide or there never is a summoner guide. That's usually how it is. But you know, if we have to redo this fight, which I'm perfectly fine with us having to redo this fight, um, I can set up a lot more stuff for it uh, very easily. Okay, that was a bad juke. Ooh, y'all seen that. Hit him with the turnaround. I have no idea what's going on. I hope my summons are doing work, but honestly, I cannot tell. I'm just trying to run the whole time. I feel like they're doing work. Yeah, go get them, boys. Get them, boys. Come on. These are the dudes that just, like, insta-killed, uh, what's his name? Golem. Y'all are supposed to be insta-killing him. Oh, I forgot to switch out my thing. Okay, it's all good. Where are my summons at? Hello? Do I have summons? Where are my summons? <laughs> Did I disable them or something? What happened right there? Okay, well, they're back. I, I don't know. I guess I disabled them at some point on accident. Um, I, I don't know when I did that, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing I know with Master Mode Duke is he hits 500 times harder than regular Duke and Expert Mode Duke. Obviously, that's Master Mode. So, uh, let's, let's be careful here. We got a potion coming up. 
that's the that's the bright side thank god he slowed down right there because i definitely was gonna get hit if he didn't slow down oh okay not good to juke into the tornado it's all good go around the tornado oh y'all seen the move i said peace out tornado but yeah hopefully my boys are keeping it keeping the damage up here i'll try and summon in the hydra over and over again see if that helps at all let's go past the tornado snag the hearts even though i don't think we needed them snag them anyways run into the duke all a part of my plan heal make sure we summon in the minion that we lost from having to heal right there and can rinse and repeat continue rinse and repeat continue oh phase three duke we all know about phase three duke this is the scariest duke there is legit i'm terrified please don't die this is the worst time to die come on kill him kill him attack him hit him attack him oh my god that's so stupid the minions are so slow to attack because there's so much movement and juking going on we know it's possible though just the minions there, there was a point where the minions desummoned. i don't know is that a bug i feel like i remember that bug when i used to play old t-mod loader i don't remember being a bug in vanilla all right let's run it back round two let's get it don't kill me we're gonna make we have an accessory swap here not make we have an accessory swap um let's get it let us get it don't kill me please so i pretty much just added asphalt to the bottom here hopefully that helps out a little bit and let's let's get it done let's get it done let's hope that we actually get it done this time uh because uh, there's only so many times my heart can handle failure hopefully i don't know let, let, i just want to i just want to beat them we're close to beating them and i should have been whipping more at the end there probably would have won the fight if i was whipping more i know i forget to whip it's because my mind is too focused on using the rod of discord and uh i have the morning star out here i don't know if that's the right choice only because the morning star is slow as hell <laughs> That thing really is slow as hell. Ooh, bad idea to come down here. Okay, it's all good. A little damage never killed anyone. Boom, do that, and then resummon the minion that I lost. I lost all my minions. Where'd they all go? <laughs> they all vanish. I, I'm noticing that. They all vanish or they were really far behind. I don't know. They, they kind of just disappeared for a second there. Kind of scared me. Don't do that again. Okay. Probably shouldn't have dashed towards them. I don't know. I thought he was going to go into final phase. Yes, sir. Okay. Just remember how juking in the final phase goes. Just remember. That's the, that's the only thing I got to remember. Is that he teleports the opposite way. Oh, my God. No speed on the dash right there. Come on. We're so close. Yes, sir. We done did it. Hey, and we got the pet. So, second try. I'll take a second try, honestly. Please give me the summon. Please. God damn it, we have to fight it again. I don't want to. All right, so I should have like nine summons during this fight. Something like that. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't. Let's buff up here. It should be nine summons though. It should be. But it really doesn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, let's run it back here. Round three or fight three. Uh, let's call it. Let's consider this fight too. All right, let's consider the first fight never happened. But yeah, I probably shouldn't wear the Terra Spark boots anymore. Uh, just because, you know, it's probably smarter if I don't wear boots anymore. But it's hard to get rid of old habits, you know? It's hard, hard, did I say hard? It's hard to get rid of old habits. I need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Go down here. There was a lot of storms around me. I needed to get away from them. But yeah, we, we learned that the dash for this dude, how he teleports on the direction you want to go he's kind of easy because i want to dash right he goes right so i'm like all right i'm gonna go the other way then come on give me the summon please <laughs> all right so before i farm some more of the uh duke i'm trying to trying to heal up here and i'm getting attacked i want to go ahead and get my hands on the celestial stone would be nice so we got to kill a couple golems here um let's just hope it's a fast fight don't kill me all right really really loud noises from this don't kill me. Just don't kill me. Kill that thing. I'm surprised. I thought I already had a sunstone. I mean, I guess I only fought the golem once. But, uh, let's fight him again here. I might die high key. <laughs> My health is a little low. Y'all got it. Y'all got it, right? Yeah, y'all got it. Please get it. I made this fight a little bit closer than I should be. All right, there you go. Boom. Give me celestial stone. Thank you. All right, I guess not. Six bags equals six stones. Am I right? Let's see here. One. Wow, only one. Okay, well, let's go. We killed six of them, right? Dear Mr. Fishron, can thy blesseth my soul with the summoner staff so I don't have to fight you f f eight more times? Please, please, 
<gasps> Tempest staff has been gotten. See, I just had to throw a quick prayer up to my boy Duke. Thank you, Duke, for giving me your staff. No, that one sounds a little bit sus. Maybe I shouldn't say it that way. Hey, I want to give a shout out to OBS. I don't know what's up with OBS, man. I might have to reinstall it because we see all the footage of it freezing when I hit record. We see the just random freezes in general that happen throughout the recordings. I don't know, man. I think it's either my OBS installation or I need to mess with some settings, something like that. I'm going to go ahead. Let's reforge this. I feel so, I feel so slow without terror spark boots let's reforge this um ruthless would be the goal okay it's not that expensive but at least just give me something decent for now and then i'll get ruthless eventually we'll take superior and then i guess let's find something to test this out on maybe i should use like x split to record <laughs> I used to use uh, Fraps to record because Fraps was nice and simple, man. But now I use OBS because Fraps only works for Windows 8 and 7, which is kind of sad. But uh, yeah, let's see these things in action. We know they're good. We don't even really need to see them in action, but might as well anyways. Hey, should I fight Plantera? I probably won't win, but like we can fight it anyways. You know, I do have an extra bulb down here, and I don't plan on rematching uh, Enrage Plantera anytime soon. So there's no reason not to test out Plantera real quick. So let me let me set up this. There you go. That's all I'm setting up. That's legit everything. I'm already missing some health. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. I, I care a little bit. But uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So how many do I have here? Seven? Something like that. Let's see if they shred Plantera or not. And then I'll end off the episode. Let's see what happens here. So I do want to get my hands on the Kaleidoscope. That's why I'm thinking like, I don't know if I should fight the Empress of Light regularly just to get the Kaleidoscope first or what. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. Uh, hopefully I don't die. Hopefully my summons are doing work. Just hit something. I don't care what it is. Just hit something. That ball is fucking me up. We're gonna die. Teleport. Y'all seen the smooth teleport. I don't gain or lose anything from losing this fight or winning it. Maybe some money, I guess, for winning it. Who cares? I'm just te testing out the staff right there. Right there. Good test. Teleport up here. Dash into Plantera and die. All right, good job, boys. Now I can share that a dub in my book. Is she all right? What the hell is she doing? Why does she keep doing that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. We got our hands on the Tempest Staff. I don't need this Raven Staff anymore. Um, I think these are going to be the go-to. And I'm implying both of them, but I don't know. I probably won't even use both of them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully the next one doesn't take 15 plus days to record whatever. Uh, yep.